Day 38, Honors Physics, Newton's Three Laws, Example 16. All right, we're starting to get a little bit more complicated here. Here's our first example with a, a ramp or an incline. And this diagram I just drew for you here, I don't have to see if you want to draw this diagram. But this is the basics when we have no friction. There's always going to be at least these two forces. These, is, these are the two forces that are, always, uh, that are always in play when it comes to ramps. You have the weight always straight down and the normal force perpendicular to the ramp. With the weight straight down, what we will do though every time is we will break the weight into its two components. So the weight diagram will look like this. Here's W straight down. And then we will have a component of weight perpendicular to the ramp. I'm going to call that W sub N. Normal or perpendicular to the ramp. And then a weight component I'm calling it W sub P. That's the notation we'll be using. W sub N. Every time you're going to have this diagram where this angle, as we showed in the notes, is the same as the ramp angle. That 30, that's 30 degrees right there. So that diagram will always show up. You'll need to find the components for your given object. In this case, the, the object it has a mass of 200 kilograms, so its weight is 2,000 newtons. So I know that this is 2,000 newtons. So I can then use sines and cosines to figure out W sub n and W sub p. And I'll do that. So I've done that. I've used sines and cosines. Actually, you could take the shortcuts because it's a 30, 60, 90 triangle. I didn't indicate it, but the right angle is down over here. And W sub P is the short leg of the 30, 60, 90, so it's half the hypotenuse. And then the longer leg would be the short leg times root 3. But every time you'll be using, I think, cosine to get the normal component and sine to get the parallel component to the ramp. All right, I'd like to see this diagram with these numbers in your homework problems. The actual ramp up there... I don't need to see that, but what I want to see is this bottom left-hand information and the following diagram. So at the bare minimum, your diagram will always have three forces on it. When there's no friction, probably going to have these three forces. The weight broken up into its two components, so we're no longer using the 2,000 newtons. We're using its components that replace the 2,000 newtons. As we calculated, we showed that work down here on the left, and this is the diagram I'm going to key on up here at the top. The normal force is equal to the weight component that's normal to the ramp. So those two are equal. What causes the roller coaster or anything on a ramp to accelerate down the ramp is the component of weight parallel to the ramp. So basically this problem is pretty much done because there's no friction. We're just going to apply F net equals MA. And it's real easy when there's only one force causing the acceleration. That is the net force. Um, actually, that's all we had to calculate is the force causing the acceleration. You didn't have to get the acceleration. But if you had to get the acceleration here, it would just be 1,000 equals, well, the mass of the car, of the car is 2,000 times A. So the acceleration is 0.5. So a little bonus there in this problem.